welcome to the Coach Kyle Show. Golazo! 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 Hi there. Welcome. Welcome back to another episode of the Coach Kyle Show. Um, if you're new here, Kyle Day, um, I'm your host. Listen, this pod, this show, um, this podcast, actually, this live podcast, uh, we speak all things soccer, and it's no different tonight. Um, <clears throat> but before we dive any deeper, let me quickly remind you if you um, if you forget that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world a very important thing to remember um, because we deal with struggles every day part of what we will discuss tonight um, nevertheless see Sony is here already Nevertheless, um, while we use this platform to uh, talk all things soccer, um, the important objective here is to really inspire, to impact the lives of our young people, um, to live out their purpose. Like I said every week, and I will continue to say, um, these are very uncertain times. Uh, we understand there's a lot of tomorrows. There's a lot of yesterdays, sorry. There's a lot of yesterdays, but there's few tomorrows. And the only real meaning to life, and the only real substance of life, uh, is purpose. And, and that, that is about who you are. Um, what is it you're supposed to be doing? And how are you going to do it? Because we're all unique, and, and, and the level of uniqueness that we that we have is very critical to the world and the peace of the world. The thing that we all, uh, I can say that we all are searching for, peace, happiness, um, joy. And we cannot neglect that. We all have a part to play in that because there's no one like us. There's a uniqueness um, that we all possess that's supposed to connect to create this great world. But challenges uh, of taking um, taking the place of coming together and, and creating this oneness with all our differences. So it's a very crucial time and very important time to understand purpose. And we will continue to use this uh, as God willing to, to continue to fuel to continue to drive our young people to that level where they can truly live a life of fulfillment. So I hope at this time you will um, share. Like I said, it's more important for you to share than to like. If I had to choose something, I would choose share because... Um, if the if the message is not for you, then the message 
uh, can definitely be for someone else. And this is what we want to uh, to encourage, um, especially when there's some level of positivity based on your lens um, that is being spread. You you want to make it available to as much people as possible. So please do share. Um, thanks for sharing. First and foremost, thanks for sharing um, the show last week and, and the show prior. And subscribing to the um, the YouTube channel, Kyra McKinnon and Co. Um, and I want to thank you in advance for participating in this show. Please do uh, share your comments, um, ask your questions. Um, it's very important. It's very, very important for this learning process um, to have a different perspective because life is not that linear. Life is about uh, variations, it's about a lot of variables, and there's not one way because we, we're oftentimes forced to ask the why questions because we don't all we don't always understand everything that is happening around us we don't always um, agree with everything that is happening around us and you know we're oftentimes forced with questions of why so the more the more we have the more variations we have the more perspective we have then it will encourage uh, a more variety of encourage variety of understanding that we can use when necessary um, in certain situations uh, to enable growth. So I, I said all of that because, you know, we want to discuss tonight overcoming challenges within SACA. And, and there's a lot of young people who... Um, deal with a lot of challenges and hopefully uh, my objective tonight is at the end of this ending of this show that all of us uh, players parents coaches administrators um, supporters understand that while we see this just as a sport or a game it has spiritual damages. It has psychological damages. Um, and we could talk about the physical uh, damages that comes with this sport. And oftentimes we look um, at this game of soccer, especially at the youth level, as just recreation. And there's a place for that. We're not, we're not going to say there's not a place for that. There's not a place um, for having fun. But I think the other side of the coin, excuse me, the other side of the coin where uh, there's a desire, there's an ambition uh, within um, young people to truly live out their passions, um, to they're looking forward for a higher reward uh, through playing the game and it's oftentimes overlooked and, and from that standpoint those challenges can create um, many dysfunctions it can create um, bad relationships between uh, loved ones it could create um animosity, it can create bitterness, um, it could make people want to be so far away from you, you don't even know, because you've never seen it in, in that light. So we want to talk about some of those challenges, and um, and more importantly, that if it's, if you're not a soccer player, I think I firmly believe what I'm about to dive into, it probably will speak to your holistic life and, and how, um, 
how you can deal with the challenges of the world also. And I will try my best to make sure to, uh, I will try my best to make sure that it's, it is soccer, but it's more important your life. I hope that you stick around because um, there's definitely something you don't want to miss. So we'll take a quick break um, before we jump in uh, to this very important, very important uh, topic. We'll be right back after this quick break. Coyote, McKinnon, and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable, and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts, and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote, McKinnon, and company. We care. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. Kayo Day here. We're talking about overcoming challenges in soccer, more so life. Um, let me quickly say, um, Jordan Peterson made a very uh, important statement that struck me. He said, when, future, when the future is not real, we oftentimes default to instant gratification. Um, we're talking about challenges, and one of the big challenges you see uh, within soccer and in and in life in general, uh, people when they cannot see something, when um, it's not a, they cannot put their hands on the outcome. When there's a bit of uncertainty, they they default to what give them the this instant gratification, um, and they said. It's um, it has to do with the dopamine and the desire uh, for this this excitement and this joy, um, which you know gives this drive this adrenaline. You know when you are when you feel the joy of doing something, you are. You 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 quickly gravitate to that thing, especially when there's no challenge. You know, one thing humans will continue to desire is comfort, regardless if that comfort comes from challenges or not. Human beings are desirable of comfort. Nobody goes out looking for challenges. Nobody goes out looking. Um, to you know things that will will might just break them. It's very rare. It's it's not just something that people get up and do every day. People will love uh, to do less and get more. People will love to do less and get more because there's this. Um, we are more, we are more, um, we move more to a thing when we know that we can actually do it. Because there's two, when things are challenging, we find ourselves either we will retreat or we will freeze. There is not the, the same desire to push and go after something is not the same when comfort is standing right in front of us. We don't even have to, uh, we don't have to do nothing. And we love that. 
there's 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 a need there's a need for that regardless of the outcome more people or most people you know will desire that instant gratification that comfort of um of whatever they're doing which don't exist in the game of soccer and like i said for those who play the game for fun and just for recreation and oftentimes you hear that from parents more than you hear that from players a lot of times when players um, decide most players that i've come into contact with they have a desire but it's easily and quickly killed um because there's there's no uh clear while there's a path and there's a process uh, if if people can't see it and truly um, understand it they quickly kill the dreams of uh, young people because people don't necessarily go after things that they're not uh, that they don't really understand it takes a lot to do that so they gravitate more to comfort and if you if you didn't know before uh, one thing about comfort it dismisses things when you are comfortable it's hard to move is hard to change is hard to it's hard to adapt is you just sitting in a chair watching um your best show and you and you're in a comfortable situation and somebody comes and and, and you have to get up it's a whole scene oh my god i have to get up it's comfort that mind that behavior spiral true to everything that you do once you're in a comfortable situation it's very difficult um to remove yourself from that place to move to a next place so this is the world this is the world that we living in um the world don't desire fate as a child growing up you you know i understood uh, the meaning of fate coming from a humble background and and uh, many deficiencies and um, the lack thereof regardless of what might be said and what others might think you get to this point because you had to had you had to had some among the faith because if you didn't had faith you would do other things to gain things that you didn't had and my story is hard work and dedication so as a child i learned quickly what faith is faith is not comfort faith is not everything in your life going perfect faith is not doing everything right faith is the ability to overcome and keep going even in the face of wrong even in the face of trouble even in the face in the face of deficiencies even in the face of setbacks you are the faith is what keeps you going people who lack faith cannot justify their lives they feel it has no meaning so when faith is lacking around you people become very impulsive and they react based on what they think is right they don't allow faith they don't thus they don't allow process they don't want a process they want an event 
they want things to happen when they want things to happen. And all of us are guilty of this in some way or the other because the world um, is not perfect. Regardless, you and I have at some point in time wanted what we wanted. Because this world and this system um, has an influence on us. It's for every individual to recognize. Excuse me, sorry. It's for all of us to recognize and take ownership to begin the process of change. To the greatest challenge or one of the greatest challenge challenges on our young people, one of the greatest challenge on our young people is society rewards instant gratification. They no longer want process. There's no learning. There's no growth without the process. Even if you look at the chron chronological age, it's a process. You have to wait a whole year before you can get uh, to, another, to another age. You can't wake up and say, I'm two. You can't just wake up and say, I'm three. You have to wait. And some of us are hoping to get to the next age. We're praying that we, we see more of life. And we make sure we eat right. We, we go to the gym. We, we, we do all the things, which is a process to get to that. But there's something about overcoming the things, the obstacles in our way that we, we don't want process. The desire for the instant thing is what society rewards. Everybody wants it now. Um, growing up in Linden and tongue in, in South America, Guyana, you know, they, they weren't no professional teams. They weren't no... Um, Really and truly, they were. They had no light uh, on using a sport like what we call football, call soccer here, um, for meaningful life. And having this lofty goal and, and this big goal of playing on the international stage and, and playing professionally. Um, going through different licenses to equip, becoming and understanding leadership and all these different things, unheard of. You know, people look down on the sport. That was a dead end. That was a no good life. That was a life of misery. A life of a life of embarrassment, to say the least. You are required to have a career. Career based on who? Based on um, people around you who believe that they knew what is best for you. <laughs> And it's funny how people can believe in God, but then they can decide they know what is best for you without saying, well, God said this is best for you. A lot of people call on God's name and they, they believe in God and they believe that there's... And some who don't believe, that's the next story, but they believe but the moment it don't fit into societal norms and societal expectations, 
then something is wrong with you. And you must retreat to this because this is what puts you in the best situation. Um, but understanding something for me and from my perspective, there's, there's something that drives this, this thing that you, this lofty goal, this goal that seems out of reach. It's out of pocket. It's unimaginable. You kept going. Challenges in front of you. Um, nobody cares if you go or come. Nobody cares what you're doing. Nobody cares to ask the question. Is this... The challenge of not having the support, the challenge of not um, feeling like what you're doing, while it's positive, it feels so negative. But that's the barrier. That's the challenges. That is the thing that come with life. And there's so many of you out there right now who got these big lofty goals and, and aspiring and, and looking at things uh, from a perspective where it, it's looking like it's never going to happen. It's not even close to you. You can't even see it. And while you're going through this process, there's some people helping you to keep moving forward and forward away from you. Keep moving forward and forward away from it. Some unconscious of it and some very conscious of it. And they remove faith. I kept believing. And through this whole process, this roller coaster process where you're learning from dealing with things that you don't even understand, that you um, are not equipped. But every time you get slapped in your face, you have to find faith and you have to go again. Every time you, you make the error, you have to find faith and you got to go again. And every time they knock you down, you have to find faith and you have to go again. And while they think you're getting weaker, you're getting stronger because you had to overcome something. I, I oftentimes say people are not strong because they have the answers. People are strong because they overcome things. That's why they are strong. A man don't grow muscles because he 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 he's easily lifting five pounds. A man grows muscles because he overcome he over he, he's able to overcome a hundred and fifty pounds, and now he's moving to two hundred pounds, and then he can only do one rep. But then after a while, he he overcomes one rep, and now he's at ten rep. 10 reps. And now he's stronger. He's stronger because he keeps overcoming challenges in his way. Maybe somebody need to hear that. Because there's a challenge in every single person's life. You're not going to go through life without challenges. It's your reality. It is, it's every single one of us reality. very important and in that moment you young people that are aspiring to play this game and you have a this lofty goal and everybody around you saying it's a waste of time it's impossible it's not a life it's not a career it's nothing they don't understand it's not the career it's 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 not if you're going to make it or not it's what it's doing for you on the inside what it's what it's taking you towards is it's what is allowing you to find in you that they don't understand because they can only see the outward appearance of things they don't know what is happening on the inside that is between you and god it's a conversation that no one can understand. And I don't care if you know God or you don't know God. He's still talking. There's a quiet voice in your head. There's good and there's evil. And sometimes 
the evil can easily say, hey, don't do nothing, go and kill yourself. The evil voice can say, hey, go take a drink. Hey, go do drugs. Hey, you know, go and do all the crazy thing. Nobody tells you about that voice. But they're quickly to shut down what you so desire to be, what you're going after. And it, it don't seem real. It don't seem like it's going to work out. And they're quick to shut it down, but they don't know the voice. They're not trying to shut the voice down that is saying, hey, go and use that. Go and use that drugs. It's going to make you feel good. Even though, even though the reward is dangerous and it's, it's, it's helpless. Most people are not shut, quick to shut that voice down, but they're quick to shut the voice down that is saying, go after something that will bring greatness. Because it's not their greatness. It's not their definition of greatness. People are your greatest challenge. I don't care who they are. I don't care what they look like. I don't care how smart they are. They can be your biggest challenge. You have a dream. They told you it's not going to work out. They told you it's all it's about something else. They don't allow you to they don't allow you to have faith. They don't allow you to overcome. They don't allow you to believe. To believe. All the while, they're making you reach at the thing that gives you instant gratification. And they and they discontinue faith. They discontinue process. The thing that the thing that allows us to grow, they they neglect it and they think it's just the sport, but it's a system, it's rules that you're setting to accomplish great things in life. It's not the game, it's not just uh, the sport, it's not just the money, it's not just that, but it's the process, it's the system of process, it's the rules of process that we all need in order to grow, in order to overcome, in order to understand faith. They take that away from us. They snatch it away from us because they don't want the suffering. Once they see suffering, they quick to they quick to say freeze or retreat. I had a player one time, and and the demand was great. And you know, one thing, one thing about uh, young people who don't understand process, they want to make this quantum leap. They want to go from zero to hundred right away. And they believe whatever they are doing now should take them to the highest place. Greatness is dark. Because for you to get up that hill, to see the other side, they say the greatest view come from the highest climb. For you to go up there, it will take some burn. It will take some pain. It will take some bruises. And, 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 and the parent on the other side saying, this is too much pressure. He can't handle it. And I'm saying, well, in order to grow, you must suffer. And we must not decide or determine how much we must have the, the ability. It's not okay. It's not just suffering. But we must allow that process and, and find out what is making this suffering so bad that makes us want to retreat and freeze. And then we have to address it. And then we have to go back and we have to say, okay, where can we start? We know that we're right here. We know that we're at this point where suffering takes us to retreat. It takes us to freeze. And so now what can we do? What can we get to that can restart this process that we make these steps? Because sometimes we can't make five, six, seven steps. We Sometimes we have to make one, but that start the process. We can't totally neglect the challenge. We can't totally neglect all the things, the suffering, because that is where the greatness lies. We don't, we have to embrace the challenge. And while we can't go to it a hundred, we probably might need to start at one. 
But we can't know that until we get to the peak of things and understand, oh, there's too much. Okay. So, all right. Where can we start? Because we can't, we, we, we might regress, but regress with an understanding that we need progress. We're trying to get to progress. We're trying to get to that top. We're trying to get to that moment where we overcome and we become who we really want to be, who we aspire to be. It's dangerous. So in that moment, uh, that parent wanted to protect. I'm going to have to protect. I have to protect my own. And we see it with a story the other day where, you know, people are quick to go and protect. We quick to protect when there's a challenge. Excuse me. Is it because uh, by human nature there's a, there's, there's a level of empathy that we that we are quick to, to reach our hands out and 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 help when we when when we 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 see a challenge and we we want to help we want to be quick to help we want to we always want to say the right things. I have been there feeling like, yes, you see a situation and yes, you can help. You can make it better. That is such a lie. We must have empathy. We must, we must have the understanding and the care uh, for others. But how do we overcome challenges? If every time somebody feel that they have the answer, everybody, every time somebody think they can, they can pull you out uh, 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 of the situation. Where, where, and how will you grow? We must have the empathy to stand and watch you sometimes. And if you're going down too much, we 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 give you a hand, but we allow you to figure it out. We we allow you to, to build your own muscles. We allow you to build your own strength because what you're doing is rewiring your brain and you're telling your brain, you're telling your body, you're telling your behavior that, listen, in this moment, this is what I've done before. If you never learn what to do in those moments, you will never learn what to do in those moments. So empathy can be a very dangerous thing. So protecting, always trying to protect. I've got to protect my own. I, I hear parents say all the time, listen, I don't want my child to go through what I've gone through. I want them to have a better life. You have a better life because you have to go through some things. To, to take that away from them, no, you're not giving them a better life. You probably have to create a roadmap. That in, in 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 moments where they 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 cannot they cannot figure it out, then you might have to say, listen, all right, let's make this step. Let's let's retract a bit. Let's let's regress a bit. And okay, what do you do now? Where no, I'm I'm oh, I'm not gonna do this. And they they begin the process of yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that they don't go through what I went through. So now you playing God. Everybody have their own process. They're unique. And these are some of the challenges you have to overcome to be great, to be your best self, to fulfill purpose in life. I know that's not what you might want to hear. But it's very important. Um, I know the, I know you care and you want to protect and I, and you want to you want to be the one to say yes I've I've gotten this person out of trouble But I have to find that point they have to find they have to find that point they have to find that point where they are stuck and and they don't know they don't know where to go and they don't know how to do it they have to get to that point. And they must be willing to keep going. They must be willing to overcome. But this is not, this is not taught in society. Make it as easy for them as possible. 
make it as easy, make it as, as, as you know, let's make sure, let's make sure enrollment is, is the number one priority. And we neglect the process. And it's sad because once we neglect the process, we're doing something to these kids. We're doing something to their brain. We are not setting systems and rules to govern their lives in the future. We're giving them this appetite for instant things and nothing good in life comes instantly. There's nothing. This why there's a word that called faith. You cannot change the rules of God. God is the creator of all man. You cannot change the rules. You cannot make a deal with God. You cannot say, I will pay for this and want it now. You, you cannot make a deal with God. You cannot. I don't care who you are. You could believe or don't believe. Yesterdays, are there are a lot of yesterdays, but none of us know about tomorrow. None, none, none of us. We close our eyes and we wake up and that's why we say our prayers and we say, thank God for life. Thanks for waking me up. I don't care who you are. People open up their Bible and read Psalms. And the one who don't, then that's their choice. Every man's choice. But I'm saying you can't make a deal with God. You can't. You, you, you don't get to say, I, I'll do this and I will get this. Because all of us will get what we want. We, we, could, we, we will get what we want. And some of the things that we don't even want, we get in. So what is going on? The things that we don't want, we receive in all the time. So we don't get, we don't, we, 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 we totally depend on faith. We totally have to. We totally must depend on faith. We cannot make a deal. We cannot say, well, if I go get this and I go get that, if I get the bachelor's and I get this and get that, I will be this and I will be that. Yes, you could say all of that. Many are the plans of a man's heart. Okay. You can't make no deal with God. It's the process. It's the faith. And we must try our utmost best to do as good as we can. And when we can't, then we've got to go back and we have to keep trying. And we have to overcome them one by one by one. And sometimes you have to do it alone. It's a crazy world. <laughs> but we need to overcome challenges if we will make this upward trajectory into greatness. We have to do it step by step. We can't we cannot neglect the challenges because it's hard. We cannot say, oh, it's too rough. It's too, we could say that. But while are we saying that, keep pushing, keep pushing. Everything great has been associated with going through darkness and coming out on the other side. I've never heard somebody's, uh, I've never heard about greatness without a story of overcoming or redemption this is why people testify they testify because they went through the thing and they got to the other side why are we stopping the challenges why are we stopping the process why there's such a need uh, for for instant gratification because society is now rewarding that behavior we are impulsive we want likes, we want, we want to expose, we want to let the world know this and we want to let the world know that. But the first thing we never did is how can we help somebody up? Oh, we quick. We quick with it. We quick with it. We quick at destroying. We quick. We want to destroy. We want to pay back. We want to do all those things. And listen, that is, for, that is every man's choice. It's not my place to say if it's wrong or right. This is the world we're living in. Like I said, the world is not that linear. You expect everybody to do this. and Everybody is right in their own eyes. A man must do what a man chooses to do. It's every man's choice. This is what God has given to us. But what are we rewarding and what, and what is the reward? 
Is the reward building or is the reward pulling down? And if the reward is not building and it's only pulling down, well, who is rewarding you? Who is rewarding you? If you're so happy to pull down, but you're never in the same light, happy to pull up, to bring up. I remember I said, there's good and there's evil. This is the world we're living in. <laughs> we have to overcome these challenges. Young people, these are all challenges. These are all barriers. These are all things that we've allowed to take precedent over our greatness. Suffering, you have to overcome. You have to overcome the ones that always quick to want to protect you. And we know it's because of empathy and because they, you know, they don't want you to feel this and they don't want you to feel that. But you have to understand that is part of your greatness. You will not become great with comfort. There's no greatness in comfort. And like I said, comfort only dismiss things. Comfort don't understand challenge. It don't understand challenges. No one who lives a comfortable life understand challenges. And people who find some amount of comfort they always want more they don't want they're not satisfied they want more challenges they feel that they could go higher they go higher so really and truly they're not they're not comfortable they're content but the moment they get to that place they want to do something more they want i had a, I had a guy who who in the probably in the 60s like i'm going back and study i'm going back to college I said for what reason he said I just need a challenge. I just need something to get me ready for the next, this next period in life. This, I've got to stay abreast. I got to stay up to date with things. That's not comfort. He's good at what he does, but guess what? I need something more. So it tells me that there's no greatness in, in, in being comfortable in, in staying in a, in a particular place because you don't want to suffer. This thing, this thing have led us, this thing have led us to a very, you know, very sad place. Because you you are aspiring for greatness. You you want to be great. Everybody wants to be great. And parents don't be fooled. A young child wants to be great. They just don't understand. They, they haven't been able to negotiate yet what it takes and what I need to do. Excuse me. They, they're totally dependent on you. And because you don't want them, you don't want them, uh, you already decided that what they, what is going to be good and what is not going to be good. You know, what you will spend on and what you will not spend on because you think and you believe this is the future. Yeah, all those things. You know, it's not my place to tell you that you're wrong. But what if, what if, what if this child was born to be great in this sport and change the lives of so many others? What if this child was supposed to be great, to impact the world and bring change. What if this child was to be great and help others who cannot or don't, who don't have the ability or in the situation to, to bring themselves up if this was the purpose of this child? You have taken away the responsibility. You, take no, you are taking away the responsibility 
of their lives. You don't want to know what will happen to that child. You taking that risk. You can't tell your child, you know, this is this you have to overcome these challenges, young people, because you cannot have a discussion about greatness without the discussion of responsibility. Oh, you're gonna be good, you're gonna be great, oh, you're gonna be a doctor, you're gonna be this, you're gonna be a lawyer, da 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 da. You know, this is a good career, da 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 da. But there's no discussion about the responsibility, just oh, you gotta have to work hard. What does that look like? Working hard is not just a word or a statement. It's a behavior. It's a behavior based on what you download or what you allow to come into this prefrontal cortex that you have. Or they say the left, there is lateral prefrontal cortex. What, what goes in there? create a certain behavior and if you respond then that behavior begins to encode what the expected behavior is when situations happen it reminds you oh this is what i did the last time so you could talk about this is a great career but where's the discussion about the responsibility sports provide that soccer provides that you just can't talk about soccer and you get all of these, you know, these Instagram coaches and all these Instagram trainers who quick to talk about this drill and this exercise and this and that and that. But what about what about the behavior? What about the lifestyle? What about how? Because if if you have all that time to put stuff like that every single day, every drill that you put in, what are you who 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 are you who are you trying to sell? That's a good question, boy. Mm. Who are you trying to sell? We cannot have a discussion about greatness. This is a big barrier. And we have our young people have to overcome this. We can't talk about greatness and and, and neglect responsibility and accountability. Responsibility is the only thing that allows you to manifest greatness. You have to be responsible. You have to take ownership. You have to understand that nobody can push you more than you should be pushing yourself. And if you can't push yourself, you have to desire somebody to push you in a way that speaks to loyalty and honesty. And if you don't know what that means, because you, you haven't learned that and you are not that yourself. That is a challenge you must overcome. Because loyalty don't accept you as you are. Loyalty pushes you to where you can be. Oh, so you are loyal to me because you accept me for who I am. You better be careful of those people who accept you for who you are. I don't want nobody to accept me for who I am. I would rather have people around me who say, okay, you are here. Look, 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 look a roadmap. You what what where do you want to go? Most people won't even ask you that question. They're quick to run and tell everybody about where you are and what you've done or what you're doing. They never say, Hey, come on, you are here. Okay. Where do you want to go? And why do you think you're here? Now let's let's create a roadmap to get you here. And that is responsibility on both sides because you have to want to you have to want to get there also. You have to want to make that steps. But this is not the world. This is not the world. Don't fool yourself. This is not the world. Hope I'm talking to somebody out there. Be super quiet. It's okay. Um, the greatest threat to your greatness, the greatest threat uh, to you overcoming um, 
is wanting something that you refuse to be responsible for. That's the greatest threat. Just give me a good opportunity to go to the learning corner um, to help you to understand some of the challenges that comes with this game. So after this, we'll wind it down. We'll be right back. Let me give you a view from if the if the ball starts if the build up starts from the goalkeeper how are you how are you forcing the opposition to play this way so one of the things you can do is you can start your 9 really high and start your 11 in that position by doing that, you can get to this pass quicker. So oft, obviously, the keeper looking at that would normally want to play here. This forces them to challenge this side of the field, which allow you to transfer the marking. What it allows you to do is stay with your three versus three in this situation. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. Kayo Day here. Um, hopefully you are sharing this live podcast. Remember you can get your podcast at Spotify, Anchor, wherever you get your podcast, you can um, see the show. The show is also live uh, via Facebook and YouTube. Please do um, subscribe to the channel. And touch that bell so that you get a notification when we're on. Um, please do share, share. I don't think it takes a lot of muscles uh, to share. Hopefully, uh, the message is not one of entertainment, about, but something positive. I always look for things um, that are positive, and, and, and thanks to those who would have shared on YouTube, all of those positive things because it truly um, helped me to really reflect and, and look uh, at myself in, in in a deeper way to uh, to establish some amount of growth to to keep growing. Um, even if it's one step, I will take my one step rather than no steps. Um, I'm not gonna get there on your time, but I will get there on the time I'm supposed to get there. Because one thing for sure, I never stop moving forward. And because once you stop moving forward, then what is there? There's just emptiness. There's, there's nothing, there's no challenge. There's, there's nothing to gain. There's, there's, no, um, there's no foreseen greatness. There's no forethought about what can be. So I like the process of keep moving forward. The more dark it gets, I want to move forward because the joy and the anticipation of what will happen if I if I overcome, if just if I can get out of this, what will I be? This this is the fulfillment of my life. I don't know about you, but just the the the, the desire and just the the what if the what if if I choose not to give up in this moment, what what will happen? What can happen? I know I'm not going to be weaker. Uh, if I'm weak already, if I'm suffering already, if all my things are coming from left, right, and center, deserve, deserve or not deserved, still got to deal with it. But I love the what if. What if I'm able to overcome this? What if I'm able to see past this? What if I'm able to deal with this? What if... What if? I like the what if. 
because I'm not going to stop until, as long as I'm breathing, it's important to keep moving forward. It's, in, it's important to, to respect that life don't owe you nothing. Life is a gift. And every day that you are able to breathe, appreciate it, and deal with whatever comes your way and force yourself to get to the other side of wherever you are if you want to be on that other side. It's not for people to understand. It's not for people to support. It's not for people to have any empathy. It's not for people to, to, to do nothing. You have a choice. And if you're waiting, you're waiting for someone else. <laughs> okay. That's your choice. Because we're all victims, but we're also all victimizers. In some way or shape, no, no one on the face of the earth can, can, can say they're not either or. Because we don't know how we offend people. <laughs> so in this world that we live in, everybody's right in their own eyes. Not I said that. God said that. <laughs> so we're all victims at some point in, in time in our lives, but also we are all victimizers at some point in time in our lives. It's just how the world turns. Because a lot of times we don't we don't get the justification for what we do. You could sit down and say, I've done this and I've done that. And this and you feel bad. You 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 know. And then you judge harshly by the things that not by the things that, obviously not by the things that you've done. Because in the same light, people, no one can say you've always done everything wrong. In some way or shape, you have done something good. You've done something right. But society will judge you harshly. And, and, and these things, you, you have to overcome. You have to overcome these things. Because if you're expecting justification for things that you do, uh, in, in, that you do good, it's not going to happen. The world, don't turn like that. The world will quickly, the world will quickly reward. And the, the, not just reward, the, the world will quick, quickly, quickly, I mean, it's not my tongue and all kind of thing, but the world will quickly celebrate your demise. They can't wait. There's so much hatred. There's so much. There's so much bitterness. There's so, they, people don't know to move on anymore. The desire to get back, the desire to uh, for sufferation is great. They 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 want to see you suffer. They can't wait. Wow, they can't wait to see something. They can't wait to say it's good for you. It's just the world. This is how it turns. Don't be offended. Uh, they will judge you harshly by their own expectations. We all do. But you have to understand something, young people, I'm talking to you. And for those who are listening near and far, if you want or are you gonna are you gonna hear it later? I've learned something during this week that is so powerful and it you know it's it 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 reached me in a in in a very in a very peculiar way and in, in a very strong way. You have to deal with the hands that you're being dealt. You have to live the hand that you've been dealt that you are being dealt. You no, know, and I use it like if I'm playing dominoes, you know, four people playing dominoes, and I, and I'm and I pick a hand with four doubles. We know that is a tough game for me. What do I do? Do I throw the do I throw the dominoes back and say I'm not playing? Or do I find a way 
Do I find a way to play that hand to the best of my ability? Guess what? I might lose. And to me, it's some, it, 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 it represents life. We, we, we don't know what always will come to us, but we have to play the hands that we're dealt, that we're being dealt. We have to be willing to play what comes our way. We have to be willing to deal with it. And we have to, we, we, we don't need to always go hide or we don't need to always be afraid. We don't all, we don't need to be like, oh, I can't, I, I this, I that. This, this is what is being given to you. This is what is happening with you. Put your energies to what can I do? What can I do with this hand? How can I use it? That is such that is such a growth moment because you are, you are refusing to let your circumstances dictate your behavior. I keep saying that, you know. People rarely people think they live by their thoughts. Some people, they live by their thoughts, but guess what? It's, it's not really your thoughts. It's your behavior. It's your behavior that consistently drive you to what you're doing. It's not your thoughts. Behavior is the thing that encodes Thoughts die all the time. They die because the only time you're able to recall it is when you, you, you're reminded. Some people can remember things like 20 years ago. Once somebody bring it up. Excuse me. You, 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 you can't remember a person's name, but, but then you, you, you see their face. We talk about thoughts, 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 thoughts die all the time. It's behaviors. The behavior that follows that thought is what you have to be careful with. And those are the things you have to fight because guess what? For on 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 knowing to some of you, you keep res when 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 I when when we respond to things consistently, if we respond to things for 30 years, 20 years, that thing is encoded. You could say what you want. You could say, Oh, I'm gonna change tomorrow, change what? You're not changing nowhere. You bet you have to you <laughs> You have to change your behavior and you have to you have to fight. You can't, it's it's not no easy fight. You have to be careful about who you have around you. Learn yourself. Understand who you are. You if you are going to overcome, you have you must have the ability to to have the right behavior with thoughts that would have affected your behavior that make you want to regress without progress. It's not your thoughts. It's the thoughts that lead to behavior and the behavior is the thing that forms how you will live. And I, some people might say, well, what is that? I'm saying, well, you could be in a soccer room doing all the tactical work, all the educational work. But until you go on that field and you actually are able to implement, nothing will be encoded because, because thoughts die. If a child, a child will forget whatever was said before the practice even over. Try it, coaches. Ask them at the end of the question at the at the practice. If if don't ask, don't tell them you're going to be asking questions at the end. Just ask them at the end. See what they remember. Can't remember nothing. 
Even you coaches can't even remember. You think you can you could remember, but you can't. We don't have the ability to keep a whole lot of things store up, store up. We all will forget. That's why they have something called reflection. You have to go reflect. You always have to go reflect. I got it. I'm the coach. I'm, I, I, I know. You have to go reflect. Because you don't have the ability. You don't have the ability to remember. So it's the behavior that form these things. The process. And you have to do it over and over and over again. They don't want that. <laughs> because they don't want process. There's greatness in all of us. We must be able to overcome. There'll be suffering. There will be there will be people. There will be empathy. People with the impulse and, and their own their own demons they're fighting with. They want to put their rules on you. <laughs> I say, well, this don't sound like soccer too much. Well, <laughs> I want you to know, if you're if you have a desire or you have a purpose, and and you feel like this thing brings out the best in you. Well, there will be a challenge. Because everything good, evil will challenge. Um, <laughs> and our job is to, it's the best minimize evil. Do our best to minimize evil as much as we can in order to build ourselves up to goodness. You see soccer, I see life. And a good life will always achieve, a strong life, a life of overcoming will always achieve greatness. Greatness beyond the field, greatness on the field. Greatness that will Will, will will shine a light for those who are struggling to let their own light shine. So yes, it has everything to do with soccer. And until we stop with the enrollment and we start prioritizing or prioritizing the development of our young people, and understand that every single person on the face of this earth is connected to creating a stable and a peaceful world, then we will not have a peaceful world. <laughs> we will not have a happy world. We will continue to struggle because we think it's just going to happen. It's people. It's people that creates peace. It's people that creates um, devastation is people that create hatred. It's not dropping from the sky. All these things that are happening in the world, everything, every single day is because of people. You're not struggling because struggle drop out of the sky. Something happened, trauma or whatever. It's because of people. And until we understand that people are connected to us directly or indirectly, whatever people are doing is affecting the system, and is affecting the rules, and is affecting how we live every single day. So people, yes, people have a big, big part in how you overcome because they are constantly setting rules and setting system that governs our lives, that creates culture. So if we don't think 
that you have a responsibility and I have a responsibility to have a, a positive input in this world, then we will never have a good world. The world that we one day looking forward to celebrate, it's not going to happen. There's good and there's evil. And until we minimize evil, <laughs> we just have to live with the hands that we're being dealt and do the best we can. Don't take it personal. And have faith. Is the only justification for life. A man said, can't remember, but he said, in order for the tree, in order to treat, in order, in order for the tree, hopefully I don't butcher it, but in order for the tree to touch heaven, the root must touch hell. <laughs> a tree don't grow as long if the root don't get deeper and deeper and deeper it would not because the tree will not do, is the root that holds the tree up so that in or if you if you want the tree to touch heaven then the root must go to hell so i want you to know New levels bring new devils. The higher you go, something, something will challenge it. Our thoughts must represent our behavior. We must. We must be able to overcome. And associate yourself with people who are quick to pull you up. Learning that every day. And I appreciate it because um, that's how God operates. You know, I wish if I had learned this a long time ago. But everything takes a process. And your job, if you associate yourself, try to be a person that pulls people up. And if you can't, if you can't find it in yourself to pull them up, just, just go on the other side of the fence. Deal with yourself a little bit. And if you're around people that you feel like they don't pull you up, something is wrong. And pulling up is not positive and being nice and, and, and being all oh, lovey-dovey and whatever. Pulling up is, is setting standards, it's setting expectations. It's, it's, you don't have to agree. You don't, you don't have to want to be in, 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 in the vicinity. Or in, but, but, if you, but if you're going to do something, if you're going to do something, fine, show them how to go up. No. And if you're not showing them how to go up, then what are you doing? You can't wait to see them go down. So who... Who are you representing? If you're so excited about doing things that don't, don't, you know, you know, everybody know when, when, when they do something, you don't have to agree with people. You don't have to do what people want you to do. You have, you have a choice, but you have a responsibility that when you do something, are you moving away? but you still want to see persons go higher and will support them going higher or you just want to you just want to let the world know that okay can't wait to see the suffering but guess what is the world we live in don't take it personal you have to overcome these challenges it's your responsibility it's my responsibility to minimize the evil that we do to people. It's a harsh world. Don't waste another moment. Efficiency is waiting. You, greatness is waiting. Consistency is waiting. Discipline is waiting. Because the worst is right behind you. It's right to the side of you. And it's actually coming towards you. 
you, you're not gonna get you're not gonna get away from it. We want to discover our future. We want to discover our future. We have to overcome. We have to overcome. We have to deal with life. We have to deal with the troubles of life. And I wish and I hope that more parents will encourage, you know, will encourage the behavior. You cannot make a deal. You cannot make a deal with someone's life. You cannot say, I will pay this and I will do this and you will go here and you will have a good life. You don't have that power. I think, I believe you think you do. But the love in my heart, let me remind you, you don't. You don't. We all, are, we all have our own lives. And it's very unique to the building of this world that will minimize the things that destroys it. And every time we, we remove that uniqueness, we create some more problems. And if we don't see that, then we will we then we understand why we're in the position that we're in. Treachery, disloyalty, lack of compassion. We lost our sacrifice to purpose. It's no sacrifice anymore. Yeah, there's sacrifice, but what type of sacrifice? So I leave you with this. And ask yourself. You have a you have a, a great opportunity to ask yourself after this podcast. Uh, the things that people are doing every day. People around you, people far away from you, whatever the situation is, you connect it some way or the other. The things that they're doing, um, are they making things worse for you? Don't be mad with it. Just ask yourself that question. The things that they're doing, the things that they're saying, the way that they're behaving, because they're not going to care. Because like I said, everyone is right in their own eyes. They think they're doing what is best. You do the same. But I'm saying, you have a responsibility in your own heart. And then you must have the understanding of the things that people are doing, are they making it worse for you? That's all. You can't worry about it. People are lovers of themselves. You know. And you might be in hell. But I hope you don't wish to stay there. You might be going through the worst times, but I hope you don't stay there. Young people. You might be struggling now. You want to you want to play on the higher stage and you got these big lofty goals. Keep it. It, it might you might not feel supported now, but, but but it's okay. It's okay. Keep that fire burning. Keep believing. Excuse me. All of these things are are stepping stone for your greatness. You just have to overcome. You just have to stay with it long enough. You have to just, you have to stay in this dark place and you have to keep pursuing. You are becoming stronger. Every day you say you're going to do it, you're going to keep pushing towards it. You are getting stronger. You are overcoming. Play the hand that is being dealt to you. Your hands might never be like the other person's hands. And they might win, but you learned something. So you could look at it as you've lost, or you could look at it that you've learned. And if you look 
at it as the latter, then guess what? The latter will be greater. And you will be blessed. So keep going. I hope this helps someone somewhere. I know it helped me and it's helping me to understand that people don't dictate. No one dictates. It's important to find purpose. It's important to find something that is greater than yourself and something that is fulfilling, that is beyond you. That in some way or shape change someone else's life. That give them the opportunity to be dealt some good card, that some good domino that they can play and play to win. Because we're all connected to something in some way or the other to make life better, to make life easier, to make life uh, stronger for someone else. And if we if we don't, then. We're not teaching. We're not teaching anyone how to overcome. I hope in my prayers that you overcome and you get stronger every single day. So I leave you with pro insulation and I hope that you, that I see you back here next Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Remember to please share this live podcast and subscribe uh, to the channel on YouTube, Kaida McKinnon and Co. Um, and share, share, share. It's just a click away. Share, share, share. Stay blessed and enjoy the rest of your week. Now is the time to keep your family warm with quality insulation for your home from Pro Insulation Company. At Pro Insulation, we solve all your residential and commercial insulation needs. Attics, crawl spaces, walls and ceilings, new and existing homes, and we offer traditional insulation and spray foam. Call Pro Insulation Company today for your free in-home estimate. For all your insulation needs. Leave it to the pros and call Pro Insulation Company in Plainfield today. A wide variety of episodes are already available, chock full of incredible insight from two qualified experienced coaches. Here are some previews of eye-opening quotes. Lots of players think they need to drive an hour or two hours to get good training. Because community clubs do not feel, most of them, if not all of them, don't feel the responsibility to provide every child the best opportunity. This is for players to have fun, so why not name it Rec? An elite league shouldn't be based on teams. It should be based on the coaching. There's no integrity in the game. It's all about business. It's it, That's all it is. There's nothing about soccer first. Everything is about giving the athletes an experience. We hope you are available to tune in. New episodes every Monday night.